Hi, I'm Andy Webb from BeCleverWithYourCash.com. Welcome back to my channel. Now in this video, I wanna share with you the ways you can save money at the cinema. So as these posters behind you might give away, I'm a huge movie fan. I love going to see them on the big screen. For me, that's the best place to see films. I used to go, when I lived in London, I used to go at one point, one year I was going more than once a week. I really am a huge film fan. Uh, now I live up in Yorkshire, I've actually got a projector um, and surround sound system in one of our spare rooms. So I actually spend a bit more time here, but I still like to go and see the really, really big releases, the ones, you know, the cinematic ones or the blockbusters, whatever it might be that really want to see them if I can in a proper cinema with the really, really big screen and the dark and everything like that. For me, that's the best place to see a movie. Problem is, it isn't always cheap. Most cinemas are gonna cost you well over 10 quid. I know some people, some screenings, some people can spend over 20 quid with all the little extras they put on. For me, that's too much. Maybe if you go once or twice a year, that's okay to, to pay that amount of money. But if you're going more frequently than that, or if you have a family, then it's gonna cost you far more than you should be paying. You can pay a lot less. So what I wanna do in this video is just take you through some of the things that I do to bring down the price. And you should be able to do those as well. Now, some of the things I mentioned are gonna be specific to certain uh, chains, and you might not have that chain near you, but there will be alternatives you can use to kind of bring down the price. No matter where you live, I'm confident you can pay less than full price for a cinema ticket. Now, what I wanna start with are just some general principles that I use that I would apply uh, when buying a ticket. Now, the first one is to shop around. Now, I say that on so many things, don't I? You know, shop around, compare prices, and we generally will do that. But a lot of the time when you think about the cinema, you think, well, that is just the price of the cinema, that's how much it costs. Now, if you live somewhere with more than one uh, cinema itself, particularly towns and cities which have three, four, five, I mean, somewhere like London, I mean, you've got so many cinemas to choose from, you've also got a lot more competition. And that means prices can be very, very low. Yeah, you've got to weigh up things like, is the film you want to see showing at that particular cinema? You've got to weigh up how long it's going to take you to get there, the timings, all that kind of stuff. But everything being equal, if the film you want to see is at a time you can make at more than one cinema, then I guarantee one of them will be cheaper than the others. Now, you might feel, oh, actually, you know, it could be that one of them is more modern, right? And that's why the older one is cheaper. They've got maybe the seats aren't quite as nice. Maybe the screen isn't quite as big. You know, there are things you might want to, you know, personal choice you might want to put into, into the factors when deciding. But I do also know that the difference in price can be huge. So let's say for example in York. Okay, it's out of town, but the view in York is gonna cost you five or six pounds for every single film you see. And there are lots of views which have the same thing going on. Cineworld, the one in Bradford, again, every film, five or six quid, whatever film you see, whatever day of the week you see it. And it's perfect, both cinemas are perfectly good. They're both decent, you know? It might not be cutting edge, every man or picture house central, things like that, but they are still perfectly good places to watch a film. You will enjoy yourself. You will not have your, your movie going experience uh, any more diminished just because you're going to one of these maybe less fashionable, fashionable destinations. There are lots of Odeons as well, which have a similar kind of deal. And you know, no doubt lots of independent smaller cinemas, which are a bit cheaper as well. So it's just about doing your research. If you know what cinemas near you, you might not have been to one for years and years and years. Maybe as I say, because a new one's open and you've gone there instead or for whatever reason. But just find out what the prices are and, and potentially you can save yourself a lot of cash by just switching where you go. The next most obvious one, again, sorry, forgive me if this is really obvious to you, but lots of people still don't think about it. If you go off peak, and off peak pretty much means Monday to Thursday, but it can also mean daytime versus evening. Again, prices are gonna be lower pretty much every cinema you go to. Maybe the odd exception of a few like in Leicester Square, but most of the time you're gonna pay less if you can go uh, at the less popular times. It's a really simple one. Yeah? But again, if you've got that flexibility, fantastic. Now, something else that I choose to do, and again, this might be your personal preference, but I never ever, apart from maybe two or three times, pay that upgrade to get 3D uh, viewing. Because unless it's a film, I mean, it's a long time ago now, but a film like Gravity, for example, you needed to see that in 3D on the big screen. Yeah, it really, that was part of the experience, was seeing that in that way. But if you want to go and see an Avengers film, I mean, you don't need to see that in 3D. It's not going to add anything to your experience, really, other than a few bits of glass and rubble flying at you. So my personal opinion, don't pay that extra money to see something in 3D. 
Similarly, I wouldn't pay for IMAX unless something was really, 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 really super special. And if you are in somewhere which has an IMAX screen in that town, you'll probably find there's also a cinema with a really big screen, uh, you know, massive, not IMAX massive, but still massive. And it's not gonna cost you that extra upgrade. You really got, I mean, people who go to IMAX every time, I think they're just throwing money away because it's very, very, very few films where you're gonna get that real extra immersive experience thing that you'll get from an IMAX screen. And even then, I mean, maybe it's just me because I've got glasses. Sometimes I find the screen too big and I can't even catch it all in into my eyesight. But anyway, again, I wouldn't pay extra for 3D. I wouldn't pay extra for IMAX unless it was a really, really special uh, screening. And likewise, in any old cinema screen, in any old cinema, I wouldn't pay extra for those VIP seats, the premium seats. I find that, yes, they are likely to be in that kind of middle spot, you know, the sweet spot for some people. Yes, they might be slightly more padded chairs, maybe they're even reclining, but are they worth three, four pounds? I don't think so, particularly when you can sit a row behind or a row in front and you're gonna get practically the same experience. So again, if you are worried about how much cinema are costing you, just don't pay for those extras. And that counts for outside as well in the foyer. The markup you get on the sweets, on the chocolates, on the ice cream is massive. And okay, you can't necessarily smuggle in a, a little your own tub of Ben and Jerry's. Well, maybe you could. But you can bring in a pack of sweets, you can bring in a can of Coke, and most cinemas are absolutely fine with you doing that. And it will save you a huge amount of cash. Even when you get these sort of combo deals where you get uh, discounts for getting your cinema ticket, you may put usually a family cinema ticket, getting them together alongside your popcorn and your drinks, and they're cheaper than buying them individually, you're still paying more than you would if you bought your own stuff, okay? So all those simple sort of things, these simple tricks, you can use those to save any time you go to the cinema, wherever you go, Choose that location, you know, search around, find the best one with the best prices, go off peak if you can, uh, avoid all the little top up extras and don't buy sweets and drinks when you're at the cinema. So that's some basic ones, but what more specific deals? Well, there are lots of deals that come and go throughout the year, right? And I'm not gonna share them with you now because you could be watching this at any time and deals could be gone and new ones could be around. But they, these do happen frequently. Most months there will be a special offer out there somewhere to help you bring down the price of your ticket. So uh, most of the time throughout the year, I would say like half of the year, if not more, sites like Groupon uh, and Living Social and Woucher will have promo codes where you can buy multiple tickets at a reduced price. Uh, with Groupon, is normally with Odeon, normally five tickets for 20 quid, two for a tenner. Uh, with, voucher, uh, with Woucher, sorry, and Living Social, it's normally a view tickets, two for around 10 pounds. Uh, they're pretty good. If you, they, they're your local cinemas and they're not one of those uh, bargain ones I mentioned at the top of this video, then four, five pounds for a ticket is pretty good. Uh, there are often a few restrictions. You can't necessarily see the latest releases with them, uh, but you don't have to use them all at once. So say you bought those five Odeon tickets with Groupon, where you can spread them out over two or three months, five individual trips if you want, or you can take five people all at the same time and get that saving. Although if you are doing that, compare them to things like those sort of family packages, uh, which are often available from most of the big cinemas. So look out for those special offers. Uh, on the blog on becleverwithyourcash.com, I have a big cinema deals page where I list whenever these new ones come along, I whack them on there, uh, regularly updating it. So I'll put the note to that, the link to that in the notes here. Uh, click through, bookmark it, keep checking it. If you want regular updates, get my weekly newsletter and I'll share the best ones in that as well. But that is a great way to make sure you don't miss out on those kinds of special offers. You can even get freebies. I mean, every year there's a special offer uh, on the back of like M&Ms and Maltesers and uh, Revels, where if you collect enough packets, you get a free ticket to see a movie on a Sunday. It's called Sweet Cinema or Sweet Sunday, something like that. That run most years has done for the last sort of three or four years at least. And there are other offers that pop up all the different time. So that's another great way to bring down the price uh, whenever you go. But there are a couple of ongoing special offers which are worth having, sort of signing up to them, having them in your wallet, having them on your phone, uh, if there aren't any extra discounts or if you can't go off peak or whatever it might be. Now the biggest one of these and one I think everyone should get, if you go to cinema even once a year, you will get your money back, is to get something called Meerkat Movies. Now, I'm sure a lot of you know about this already. You can't have escaped the adverts on the telly with the two uh, meerkats sending up different movies. Uh, but essentially what was Orange Wednesday years and years ago, then it became EE Wednesday. And when that finished, God, it must be, a, it's a while now, it's a good while now, compare the market, the comparison site took it over to create this deal called Meerkat Movies. And what it provides you, if you've got it, is two for one cinema tickets every week on a Tuesday or a Wednesday. So you can only use the code that you get once a week, but hey, you've got that choice to use it Tuesday 
or Wednesday, and the following week you get another code again to use on the Tuesday or the Wednesday. And it's valid at most cinemas around the country. Pretty much all the major chains uh, will accept it. I mean, every man is an exception there. There might be one or two others, and maybe a few independent cinemas don't take it. But you can use it at Odeon, you can use it at View, you can use it at Cineworld, you can use it at Picture House, Empire, Showcase, The Light. All those guys, they take meerkat movies. And again, if you're going uh, on a regular basis and you can go midweek, not only are the ticket prices going to be cheaper because it's off-peak, you'll get two for one. And that is often one of the cheapest ways to get a cinema ticket all year round. So how do you get it? Well, to get this, you have to buy an uh, insurance product from Compare the Market. It has to be one which is kind of uh, valid for this promotion, right? But that includes most of them, car insurance, home insurance, travel insurance, things like that. So it's a good practice anyway to compare uh, on a comparison site each time your insurance product comes up for a renewal you don't ever want to auto renew you'll get charged more so do a comparison find a cheaper deal and you could do that through compare the market but you might not want to you might not have any of those insurance products or you might be happy going through a different route or even going direct to some insurers who aren't on comparison sites that's fine you can still get meerkat movies thanks to this really really fantastic little trick what you do is you go in to compare the market and you choose travel insurance and when you get to travel insurance, you choose United Kingdom as your destination. And then for the length of your trip, you choose one day. Now, you're not going to use this. You don't have to be going somewhere in the UK for this to be valid. You're saying you're going to do it. Uh, and you can set the date for this trip any time in, you know, in the next couple of months or whatever. It doesn't really matter because you're not going to claim it. Go through those options. Do the comparison. And pretty much every time you'll get an, an option to buy a one day UK travel insurance policy for around a quid. Could be a little bit more, um, but around that one pound mark, if not no more than two pounds, certainly. But I reckon around one pound for has been the, pretty much the standard price over the last few years for this. Buy that travel insurance policy, and you are able to then get and claim Meerkat movies for one year. Uh, you also get Meerkat meals, which is two for one at restaurants. So again, limited, not every day of the week, but it's you know, an extra thing to have on there, which is fantastic. But you get it on your phone, uh, and then you can once you've activated it and uh, validated, validated it, you can access your code every week. So that's a fantastic way to bring down the price of Meerkat movies. Another one, that's only Tuesday and Wednesday, so if you want to find a way to make sure you can always save, let's say, at the weekend, uh, then you might want to look at something which is actually quite easy to get at a range of different products. The most famous one is probably via Taste Card. They have something called Taste Card Plus. At Gourmet Society, which is pretty much the same as Taste Card, the same people who run it, has Taste Card Plus. Uh, Kids Pass, uh, that's a kind of a, a membership for discounts for theme parks and things for families. They all have something which lets you buy uh, cinema tickets up to 40% discount. And there are many other places that have this as well. You might already have something which gives you this little bit extra, this little perk. Uh, it might be through your health insurance. So when I had Bupa with my old employer, again, that was something I could get through them. I opened up an ISA, uh, an investment ISA with someone once, uh, and that has some benefits that came with it. Again, letting you buy cheaper cinema tickets. You might even be your employer has a thing called different names, but essentially it's work perks. If you're not sure about this, ask your HR department if there are any of these things going on. Often they're found on the internet if you have access to that in your workplace. But again, these all little extra, they come with these extra perks that let you go in and choose your cinema you want to buy a ticket for and get 40% off a set price. Now, these can be really good to bring down the price, particularly at the weekend. You have to be a little bit careful though, because some of them, when they do this, uh, there's a set price not by cinema, but by region. So it might be there's a price for cinema tickets outside the M25, a price for London inside the M25, and a price for central London, so maybe three different prices. Now, that seems pretty simple. Okay, so where do you live? Will you get a ticket for the, whichever zone you're in? Fantastic. However, you might find that, as I mentioned at the top of the video, some of those cinemas in those regions, they're really, really cheap and actually cheaper than the voucher price. So you've got to be careful. It's up to 40% each time, but I have found examples where it costs more to do it this way. Even so, it's well worth checking it out. Now, you won't have every single cinema uh, chain available on each of those different ones. They do vary between the different ways you can get them. I would say with Taste Card and Kids Pass and Gourmet Society, things like that, you want to take out a trial, first of all, just to make sure that the cinema that you want to use is on there and that there's a, a kind of a, a decent price as well, that it works out uh, as a decent offering compared to other ways to save money. Often you can get these free trials, so you can get a month for nothing. Uh, Taste Card in particular, often over on the blog, I've got 90 days for a pound 
or 120 days for a pound, something like that, which gives you that extra bit of time just to try it out and use it. And again, you will get that, use it once or twice, pay a quid, you're still gonna get that money back. So I'll link to those promotions and those deals in the notes as well. Uh, what you need to be careful of if you are signing up to any of these trials is to make sure you don't let it auto renew at the end of that trial because then you'll get charged the full membership price for a year. If you're not gonna carry on using it, then you're looking at paying 30, 40 quid perhaps for a year. Now that can be good value if you're gonna use, particularly with Taste Card and Gourmet Society, use the discount it gives you in restaurants. Um, but again, if you're not, you don't wanna be paying that kind of money. So that's something just to be aware of. Another promo that I love, this is specific to Cineworld or View, um, is some free tickets, six free tickets that you can get from opening a Club Lloyds bank account. So it's Lloyds Bank, they've got various different current accounts, but one of them is called the Club Lloyds. Open that up and you can claim six tickets or a magazine subscription. Best value for money is undoubtedly to get one of those cinema ticket packages. You choose either View or Cineworld. You can't mix or match them, okay? Um, but that is a fantastic way just to see some movies for free. And obviously in your household, there's no reason if you can open an account why uh, your partner can open an account as well. As uh, long as you're at, uh, over 18, you know, kids can open accounts as well. There's lots of cinema tickets that you can get to keep you going through the year. And you get a new reward every single year. You can claim another six cinema tickets 12 months on. So one thing to think about before you go and open that account is occasionally Lloyds Bank offers a switching bonus. They had one last year of around 125 quid. That's the first time they've done that. That might come back again. If that means it could be a good reason to wait and switch your current bank over to get that bonus as well as those cinema tickets. Um, but if you don't want to wait, it's well worth grabbing those six tickets right away. A few more cinema specific offers that are worth checking out, which seems to be running over a sort of a longer period. Uh, one of them is for view cinemas. Again, this one requires you to have a mobile phone uh, SIM with Vodafone. Now, if you're already with them, then every single week in their like, rewards part of their app, you can get two cinema tickets for seven quid, three pound fifty each. That's a fantastic way to get see the cinema uh, movies at the cinema for less. If you haven't got a Vodafone SIM, but you do go to view a lot and you want to take advantage of this offer, there is a trick. You need to get a pay-as-you-go SIM and you need to put £10 on it. Now, once you put £10 on this SIM, obviously you need to put it in your phone and activate it. That £10 pay-as-you-go credit, whether you use it or not to make calls or whatever, that gives you six weeks access to uh, the rewards side of things. And that means six weeks access to get in those cinema tickets for seven pounds, there's two tickets for seven pounds. Now, if you go to view cinemas every single week, then that 10 pounds will really sort of suddenly drop down and make it worthwhile. If you're going just once in that six week period, it's probably not worth it because there are other deals, even though 17 quid for two tickets isn't bad, you can probably find other ways to bring that price down. Now, if Odeon is your main cinema, then it's worth checking out something called the Times Plus. Now, everyone knows the Times newspaper. It has a digital subscription. Now, that's quite expensive. I wouldn't recommend you signing up for that unless you actually want to read the Times newspaper online every single uh, day and week. But you can take out a trial. Now, there are different trials. The normal one, the standard one, is eight weeks for eight pounds, which isn't bad. But there are also, from time to time, and quite regularly, you'll get one of these, either 30 days for free, or three months for three pounds. So uh, I personally prefer the, the three months for three pounds. And what you get, not only do you get access to paper, whether you look at that or not, you also get something called Times Plus. Now this has all sorts of freebies, uh, a free movie rental from Rakuten every single month, uh, a free Kindle book every single month, but you also, on a Saturday, Sunday, and a Monday, you can get two for one tickets at Odeon. So that's pretty good. Now if you get, say, those three months, or potentially if you haven't got that, the eight weeks at least, and you do go quite frequently, that's a great way to save at the weekend because it is always more expensive to uh, go to cinema at the weekend. You can also look at using some of your loyalty points. Now, Cineworld is the best one here because they let you uh, swap club card points for Cineworld vouchers, and it's triple the value. So say you've got a pound in Tesco club card points, it gives you a voucher worth three quid to spend at Cineworld. That's not a bad discount, and you can obviously use that for whatever the ticket price is. If you're able to work those down, you can probably use them uh, on all sorts of promotions. The one for View is Nectar Points. Now, I personally wouldn't swap Nectar Points for View Cinema tickets because you're getting exactly the same value as if you were using it in Sainsbury's or any other kind of Nectar partner, okay? I don't think it's worth it. I think it's best to hold on to those and keep it until they have their double up event every Christmas because at least you're getting more for your points. So for using them on View Cinema tickets is a bit of a waste. Uh, View also has a special Monday, Super Monday, it's called, where tickets are reduced, whatever cinema you're going to, so that's well worth checking out. Now, the last saving I want to share with you 
Um, it's something that you can possibly stack, not with all the deals and promotions I've spoken about, with a lot of them. And the idea here is you buy a discounted gift card. Now these again uh, happen throughout the year for all the major chains, Odeon, View and Cineworld at least. Uh, and um, when they go on sale, and when you can get them say 10% off, 20% off a gift card, whatever it might be, if you've got that gift card with that discount, you, it's treated like cash by the cinema, which means you can use it whenever you are buying a ticket outright. So obviously you can't use it with uh, you know the, the Groupon or the voucher type offers, but you can use it alongside Meerkat movies. You can use it alongside, um, I don't know, like a special half term promotion where kids go free, things like that. You can use them alongside that because they are treated like cash. So it's well worth if you have a cinema you always go into and you spot one of these offers. Again, they happen time to time. I do tend to list them over in my big cinema deal page on BeCleverWithYourCash.com. Um, but it's well worth getting hold of some of these. The only thing to be careful there of is with gift vouchers, they sometimes run out after a certain amount of time. So if you've got it and you don't use it, it could be it gets wiped of all its value. You could lose it and that means also you've lost out or you forget you've got it. So just be really careful, only get them if you're pretty certain you are gonna use them. If you can, it's a great way to get an extra discount on top of those other savings. Now I've only touched the surface, there are so many other smaller ways to save money as well, like cutting out booking fees or getting extra money off if you're a student. That is all listed over on the blog, but it's already quite a hefty video. But these are the key ways that you can bring down the price of your trip to the cinema. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please do share it with your friends, like, comment, let me know the ways that you are saving money at the cinema. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. And don't forget to hit that notification bell that you see there as well, because that means you won't miss any future videos. Until next time, cheers.